Over the weekend, beloved streamer Sketch went through a content creator's worst nightmare, and although his past was dug up for all to see, he made it out okay thanks to a handful of loved ones and friends. Some people saved me. Shout out Banks. Shout out my parents. Like, shout out y'all. Sketch seemingly arrived out of nowhere this year, quickly becoming one of the biggest stars in streaming thanks to his catchphrases, sense of humor, and viral TikToks. It, we gotta go. Come on, everything's off. All gas, no brakes. There you go. On July 7th, the content creator went viral for a very different reason. A number of explicit videos and photo shoots suddenly began circulating online, with several parties claiming that the person in the footage was Sketch. With some of his fellow streamers reacting to the leaks on their channels and others insisting that the videos weren't legitimate, Sketch finally hopped online on July 8th to clear the air. Though he began the stream with his usual joking attitude, referring to his haircut as the true elephant in the room, he quickly turned to more serious matters. As it turns out, he is the person in the footage. The videos and photos were taken two years ago for OnlyFans, during a difficult time in Sketch's life that he wants to leave behind him. I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. Yeah, that was me. Um, I f***ed up. I won't do it again. A clearly shaken sketch continued to call attention to the growing number of viewers checking out what he had to say, jokingly comparing his numbers to one of his frequent collaborators and friends, Jinxie. It makes sense that Sketch wanted to get his side of the story out in the open, considering how quickly the OnlyFans leaks became the talk of social media. Within hours of the footage being posted, it seemed like everyone on the internet had an opinion to share. Some streamers initially refused to believe their eyes while viewing some of the footage on their channels. Due to the nature of the footage, debates also broke out concerning Sketch's sexual orientation, with some demanding to know how Sketch identifies and others insisting that it's nobody's business but his own. Others vowed to stop watching Sketch after learning he'd try to cover up this part of his past. The rumors also quickly spread that the NFL was planning to distance itself from Sketch and refuse future partnership opportunities. But it seems these rumors were simply that, rumors. In light of these negative reactions, some feared that the internet would only become a more hostile environment for Sketch. YouTube creator McNasty argued, Low-key feel bad for Sketch. He's popular in the sports community, which is dominated by toxic masculinity, and they are never gonna let him live this down. Bro is about to lose his career for being gay. This idea didn't sit right with a number of content creators in the industry, including some of Sketch's closest pals in the business. Like, no matter what happened in the past, no matter what, no matter what happens in the future, like, he's still a genuine good-ass dude. Of course. One of Sketch's most vocal supporters in the early hours of the scandal turned out to be FaZe Banks, who posted a screenshot of a text conversation with the young streamer. Sketch apparently left Banks' home in a panic when their clip started leaking online prompting Banks to reach out to him and promise him a friendly ear to talk to. In the post, Banks insists that his fellow FaZe Clan members all have Sketch's back. As for Sketch himself, it looks like he's going to be alright in the long run. He said the current feeling of having all of this out in the open felt like a weight lifted off his shoulders, but that his initial reaction was much darker. If it weren't for the kindness of fellow content creators like FaZe Banks, Sketch emotionally admitted, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. Since Sketch went live with his side of the story, a number of fans on social media have rallied around the streamer, also shouting out FaZe Banks and some of the other members of FaZe Clan for being there when Sketch needed them. A visibly emotional Jinxie also went live to respond to Sketch's confession stream, saying, I'm glad that Banks was there for him. You lost respect for Sketch or you don't want to support Sketch anymore. To be honest, just don't support me either. The internet is still divided in the aftermath of this stream. Some detractors have said that they feel like Sketch misled his friends and fans. Meanwhile, big names like Jack Jacksepticeye have commended Sketch for opening up about his past and being vulnerable with his audience. As Sketch explained in his livestream, this is definitely not where he expected his week to go. But it looks like the people closest to him will not be turning their backs on him anytime soon. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.